All right, everybody. Another week, Fiddler football is upon us. And gotta tell you, things are getting interesting. Let me tell you. Not in the way you think. Not in the way you think. Let's let's just start off with the IFL first. Let's start off with the IFL. Obviously, we need to start with the IFL first. What what a couple of good game. Well, actually, there was only one good game last weekend. That Bismarck Iowa game, very good game actually. Bismarck kept it close. Really scrappy. Really fun team to watch. Man, I'm telling you that they're gonna be something to watch all season long. Uh, the other two games weren't so lucky, though. We're not very lucky, unfortunately. Uh, the Duke City-Tucson game yesterday was at a different arena because the Tingsley Event Center, you know, was being used as a COVID testing site, and the and the field did not look the greatest, apparently. So that's that's a thing. There was also audio issues yesterday as well. Um, with that broadcast for Duke City, so gonna have to get that improved. They still have that same derpy looking scoreboard graphic that they used, and it didn't look too good. But it's okay. It's all okay. Um, you know, maybe Duke City's a pretender after all because they got pretty much smacked by Tucson. But the big one, the big one is the Louisville situation. Um, I don't know what happened. Because originally, this was supposed to be a Louisville broadcast. This was supposed to be Louisville taking the broadcast. But then that changed like in the middle of the week to where Sioux Falls was in charge of the broadcast. And yeah, it, it didn't go too well. It was one of the worst things, one of the worst um, broadcasts we've seen this year. One of the worst. But yes, yeah, Sioux Falls won the game. Very close game, actually. But nobody saw it. In fact, when we finally got some video up, it was already too late. The game was already over. And this was just like, the camera angles were weird. I don't know, is it the reception down there at the KFC Yum Center that's just not great or what? I don't know. I really don't know. It's pure insanity. Pure insanity. Well... We know that the NAL has started this week, and I gotta tell you, a couple of good games, actually. A couple of good games, you know. Obviously, things had to change on the fly, but hey, we got some good games, you know. The Jersey Fly, uh, Carolina Cobras game was mostly good, mostly good. Um, there was some couple of, there were a couple of hiccups there, obviously, you know. But I mean, you know, the, that game was pretty good, the Albany game. The Albany Columbus game was the best game of the weekend by far. Um, although it looked like it was going to be a blowout at first, but hey, it's all right. It's all right. The NAL is back. Uh, we got to wait a couple weeks for the other big hitter, Jacksonville, to come on back and start playing. But hey, you know things are gonna be fine. Things are gonna be fine. I think the NAL they did all right. Their first week, I don't get the superiority complex because here we go with the egos and the superiority complex of NAL fans on both Discord and Facebook. You know, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, let's let's not. You know, you can't have as bad a broadcast as as what Louisville did, but you the NAL had some audio issues and stuff like that as well. There was some audio issues in both those games. Um, some graphics issues in both those games as well for the NAL this week. I think there's two games this week as well, if I'm not mistaken. But that is what that is what it is. It is what it is. So what about the CIF? CIF, um, yeah, it's been kind of well, the same old, same old. If you don't have the Salina, 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 however you say it, the Liberty, if you don't have the Woody, the CIF championship, there's something wrong with you. And maybe, just maybe, there may be an AAL playoffs after all. You know, we do know that the West Michigan, Indianapolis, and Forces game, their second straight game that they'll be playing against each other, could have, you know, the owners have finally decided, hey, we're going to have a playoff after all because Tony Z is an idiot. 
and we all know he's an idiot because for some I don't get why you would play a season and don't have playoffs. Hint, hint. Minor league baseball is doing that same thing, based on the idiocy of the of the MLB. So um, there could be a fourteen playoff for the AAL this year. I hope all those games are on YouTube, so that I can you know maybe check them out potentially. Hopefully it's the West. Hopefully you know West Michigan you know gets you know to the championship. Hopefully they you know, but so apparently it could be you know championship game could be in Carolina in Charlotte. But you never know. You never know what the AAL. You never know what's gonna happen on a weekly basis. So you have to constantly keep updating with this league. Of course, there's only a couple teams that I think can win the championship or at least get to the playoffs. Um, there's only a couple teams that they can get to the playoffs, and that's uh, the winner of the West Division game this weekend uh, between North Texas and San Antonio, because um, those are the only two teams left in that division. Because why, why not? Um, because El Paso folded basically, and I don't know what happened to the Austin Wild. Um, in the East, obviously the Charlotte Thunder. They've won it, you know, I mean, they, this has been, you know, it's either going to be West Michigan versus Charlotte or something completely different happens. But these two, but those two teams are undefeated. They're probably going to be the ones that are going to play in the AAL championship game. I don't think that the West Division teams have a chance. It was obviously not going to happen anyway. I mean, there shouldn't have been, I mean, the AAL should have kept it, you know, you know, in a location that makes sense, you know, in the East Coast, you know. And there's also potential for, you know, AL teams to be jumping up as well. Sorry about that in background noise. It's a family member. Uh, but there's potential of AL teams jumping up into the NAL as well. We know how that happened. We know how that works with the, with the NAL because, remember, Tampa Bay was supposed to come up to the NAL, and that didn't happen. So, you know. It is what it is there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. The America West Football Conference. That um, I'm not sure whose field it was. I think it was either... Um, I forgot whose field it was, but that field looked absolutely disgusting. Um, obviously not professional quality. Um, I want to say it was... Uh, I don't even remember the team's name. I think it was like Reno or Wachee Valley. Or was it Tri-Cities? I think it might have been Tri-Cities. I don't think it was Yakima. And I don't think it was Idaho. But I think it was... It was one of those five AWFC team. And that field that we saw... There was some pictures of it in the Discord that I saw that looked absolutely terrible. It looked awful. Just absolutely awful, man. That is not professional turf. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Um, it's going to be another video this week talking about Premier League Lacrosse. Or rather, the Premier Lacrosse League. It's coming later this week. Going to be talking about you know the season this year. And it's going to be very fun. I hope that I catch the lacrosse fans at a good time this year. Because I'm going to be here with them this year. So, uh, yeah. So, that'll do it. That's this week in indoor football. Hopefully nothing crazy comes up because I know there's been there's no there's been players, you know, whining on, you know, Facebook and stuff like that about their situation as well. Um, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, I've got nothing else. Y'all take care. Have a good day.